procurement development compensation integration maintenance and reproduction of human resources to the end that individual organizational and societal uh, objectives are accomplished so now human resource uh, human resource management means enti ante so it can be in a uh, planning organizing directing and controlling and procurement of in a development and compensation integration of in a resources so now human no, resource right. management no, is right. an operation in a company designed to maximize employee performance in order to meet the design uh, in order to meet the employee strategic goals and objectives more uh, precisely human resource management mm-hmm. focuses and management of people within companies emphasizing on policies and system in shortly in human resource management is the process of recruiting selecting employees providing proper orientation and induction in in a empire imparting proper training and developing skills human resource management also includes employee assessment like performance appraisal facilitating proper compensation and benefits encouragement mm-hmm. maintaining proper relations with labor and with trade unions and taking care of employee safety welfare and health by complying mm-hmm. with complying with the labor laws of the in a state or country concern in next we will discuss about the scope of uh, uh, human resource management the scope of human resource management is very wide it consists of all functions that come under the banner of human resource management in different functions as as follows uploading ஒருத்தான் <laughs> 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 hi students so today we will discuss about the one of the important topic of the scope of human resource management the scope of human resource management is very wide it consists of all functions that come under the banner of human resource management the different functions are as follows in first one human resource plan it is a uh, it is the process by which a company identifies how many positions are vacant and whether the company has excess staff or shortage of staff staff and subsequently deals with this need of excess or shortage so human resource planning so which uh, uh, can be which identifies the how many positions are vacant so after that it can be in a exercise of in stop or shortage of stop it can be in deals with in subsequency of in a need to be in a uh, select the in members in next one job analysis and design job analysis can be defined as the process of noticing and regulation in a detailed particular job duties and recruitments and the relative importance of these duties for a given job so job analysis uh, it can be consist of a particular job and duties and recruit uh, uh, recruitments it can be in a assigned to the in given duties and given job 
the job analysis uh, design is a process of designing the jobs where evaluations are made regarding the data collected on a job it gives the elaborate description about the each and every job in the company it is also in job analysis and design recruitment and selection uh, the recruitment and selection uh, with the respect to the information collected from job analysis so it can be in a uh, information gathered to the in job analysis the company prepares advertisements and publishes them on various social media platforms this is known as the in recruitment so recruitment that can be in taken to some advertisement uh, uh, advertisements so it can be in choose to the in social media so uh, a number of applications are received after the advertisement is in a presented uh, interviews are conducted and the advertising employees are selected thus recruitment and selection is at another essential area of human resource management so after advertising it can be in a conducted to the interviews and selected to the in persons next one orientation and induction after the employees are selected so after the employee selected the induction or orientation program is organized the employees are updated uh, about the background of the company as well as culture values and work ethics of the in company they are also inducted to the other employees so it is also orientation and induction in next last one training and development uh, employees how to Uh, under a training program which assist them to put a in better performance on the job sometimes training is also conducted for currently working experienced so sometimes the training also it can be conducted to the in working experience staff so uh, staff so as to help them improve their skills in further so sometimes the training also it can be improved to the skills it is also known as a in a refresher employees so it is also training and development so thanks for watching